And this is Jeff Ben Davis here and the beautiful Sub Zero Wolf and Co. Showroom at Roth Living in Denver here to give you a great recipe for your confection steam of fresh New York style bagels made entirely in the convection steam oven. Proof them in there, we're gonna steam them and then we're gonna bake them in there all at once. It's a really easy recipe. You can easily have it done about an hour from start to finish. You can have fresh bagels on your table for breakfast. So we'll go through the, the steps of making the bagels and making the dough and then showing you how to steam and bake them all at the same time in the convection steam oven. So it's very, very simple. Um, to start, you're gonna activate your your yeast in some warm water between 90 and 100 degrees. So you need about 300 milliliters. So it's good to use a scale here. So you get very accurate. It makes it easy to scale up the recipe as well. If you're going to double or triple the recipe. So you need about 300 milliliters of water. I don't think it's too much there. And it's pull just a tiny bit off. Make sure I get that exactly where I want it right there. Back and forth. So just be very careful. Milliliters are very small enough. There we go. All right, so we've got our warm water there into the bowl of the stand mixer. All right, and so that's, once that's there, we're going to um, we're going to add um, some active dry yeast. Make sure you're using active dry yeast. You need to activate that in the water so it gets um, make sure it's alive. Make sure it's it's healthy. And good. And then you want to feed it a little bit with something sweet. So you can use sugar, you can use honey, you can use agave nectar, malt syrup, um, just whatever you want. You need to give it something to eat so you get that yeast really, really activated. So you sprinkle the sugar on top of the yeast, the water, sugar, just mix those with a whisk really quickly so it's just nicely dissolved. And then you're going to need to let this sit in the skin. So probably five, maybe seven minutes. You just want to see a nice, creamy foam on top of the, uh, of, the, of, the, of the water. And that way you know that your yeast is alive and you're, it's active and it's ready to go um, to the next step. So let's just let it sit here room temperature. About five minutes, you'll notice you'll see it kind of getting active and then you'll be ready to go. So we'll be back in a couple of minutes just to move on to the next step. Here's the flower. This is about... 500 grams, so we're just going to put the flour right on top, and then you just want to use some fine sea salt, or maybe some, you could use some fine iodized salt, but just need a little bit of salt in there, so we're just going to sprinkle that right on top of the flour. So now everything's together in the mixer, we're just going to put that onto our stand mixer, and we're going to use the dough hook, right, so you want to use, make sure you have your dough hook attachment ready, just get that affixed, lock your bowl in place, and then you want to use a medium to medium low speed. It's going to take anywhere between seven and 10 minutes, but you're just looking for a nice sticky, not really sticky, but smooth dough. It'll clean the sides of the bowl really, really well, um, but it'll just look nice and firm. It's a very firm dough, but you want to just let it mix, like I said, between eight and 10 minutes um, until the bowl is nice and clean and you have that nice shiny smooth dough. So let's just go there on about a medium, medium low speed. Right there. We'll just let that come together, and then we'll just let it knead nice and nice and vigorously. You really make a nice tight crumb on the inside of your bagel, and it smells really good. You can smell that lovely yeasty smell coming off there with that really nice fresh flour smell. Really, really smells good. And we're just gonna let that mix for six, for seven to ten minutes. All right, so now we're back where our dough is mixed nicely for, you know, that nice prescribed amount of time. And I'm just going to show you the inside of the bowl, how nice and clean it is. Um, but you'll get a sense here, nice and stiff, how this, this dough has got a really stiff texture. Um, but you can see it's not sticky. It's not going to stick to your hands at all, which is really nice. And just want to make sure you get all of it off of there. And then we can just see the inside of the bowl nice and clean. So it really did clean it really, really nicely. Um, there. So we've got our dough here. We want to just kind of shape it into a nice ball. And then I've got a, another bowl here that I've just brushed with a very, very, very light amount of vegetable oil just to help it keep from, from adhering to that. We're going to just place our dough right into that clean bowl. We're going to cover with some plastic wrap. Just a piece of plastic on top of it. 
And now it's going to be that first time you're going to use your convection steam oven in order to proof the dough. So we're going to use the proof mode, which is in the auto steam bake function, which is in your um, more button or the more gourmet setting. So over here at the convection steam oven, um, we've got that set up. We're just going to go ahead and hit a uh, quick start. We're going to go to more. We're going to slide over to auto steam bake. And when you touch that, you scroll all the way to the end and that's where you'll find the proof button. You want to hit enter there. And then you're going to, I like to do it at about a, about a hundred degrees is really nice for this dough. So make sure you adjust the temperature by touching on the temperature setting, scrolling up to a hundred degrees, touch enter one more time. Make sure there's water in your reservoir because you're going to need a little bit of water for the proof mode. Touch enter, right? So that's going to warm up really quickly to that 100 degrees. Go ahead and place your bowl just right on the wire shelf there in rack position number two. And then you want to let it prove for about 30 minutes. It'll rise very quickly um, and you'll see it starting to come to the top of the bowl depending on the size of your bowl. But this will almost fill that bowl that I just put that in there. So I always like to set a timer for 30 minutes just so I make sure that I check it the appropriate time. It usually takes about 30 minutes to prove that dough and then we're ready to shape and bake. So there we go. We're off and we're proving that dough for half an hour. So we're back. Our dough has had a chance to be, uh, prove itself in the, uh, in the convection steam oven, 100 degrees for about 30 minutes, maybe a tiny bit longer, but you can see how nice and lofted it is. It's very nice and soft but it's not sticky. That's the beautiful thing about it. So what you're going to want to do now to shape your bagels is to punch it down a little bit, like expel as much of that air as you possibly can. And then we're going to turn it out onto an unfloured area to shape the bagel. So just make sure you get all of that dough up and out of the bowl. There we go. We've got our dough right here. So you're going to take it and just roll it into a log, just again, expelling as much of the air as you possibly can. Just roll it into a log, probably about 16, 18 inches long, something like that. Just try to get it even. Don't worry about it if your one bagel is just a tiny bit larger or smaller than another. So then um, we're going to use our bench knife. You could just use a regular knife if you want, but we just have our dough separator here, and we're just going to cut it into eight pieces. This recipe makes about eight even size bagel. So again, always easier to divide everything in half than just cutting it from one end to the other. We just cut it in half and then we cut each one of the pieces in half. And now we have eight portions of dough. And so the first thing you're going to do now is take a piece of dough in each hand and you're going to sort of cup your fingers like this. So you're making it just like that with your thumbs. So you're going to put the dough in your palm and push down and rotate towards each other. So you get a nice tight ball of dough just like that. So it makes a nice smooth skin across the top. You can see my fingertips are just touching the counter and I'm pushing down kind of slightly in the middle of my palm in order to create nice round balls of dough. And you just want to repeat that with every single one of the balls that you have here. And it's always easier if um, you don't have any flour because it'll, they'll stick and there'll be a nice adhesion. You'll get a little twisting um, pattern on the bottom. Um, if for any reason it's not sticking and you're not getting any traction, just take a slightly moistened towel and wipe the area right in front of you where you're going to be rolling the dough so that it's just slightly wet and that'll help the, the dough adhere nicely to the, to the counter so you can get nice tight balls of dough. Like that. All right. So now we have them just like this. So here's how we're going to shape the bagel. Just basically flatten it slightly, but take your thumb and push your thumb through the middle to form the hole. Just make that hole. And with your thumb still in the middle, just kind of gently go around and stretch out that hole with your fingers to make it about two inches wide. Remember, it's going to close up as they steam and bake. So you want to make sure that you get it a little oversized. And then we're going to place those bagels on a parchment paper lined tray for the convection steam oven. You could use the perforated tray if you want. You don't have to use the solid tray. But we're just going to go through and form all the bagels, make them nice and round, you know, as round as possible. And don't worry if you think, oh, they look kind of funny that they're 
They've got sort of an irregular pattern on the surface. Don't worry in the steaming process in the convection steam oven. They're going to smooth out really, really nicely and look really beautiful. So again, we're just going to go through. Again, you can see how I'm kind of pulling with my thumb and just kind of stretching the bagel out whilst turning it in my fingers to make it nice and round and give ourselves a nice big hole. And you can see already as they sit on the, the tray, they start to close up a little bit. This is the easiest way to bake, to get them shaped. Just use your finger to make that hole in the middle and then get them aligned on your tray. All right. So now whilst we're doing this, I'm going to let you know that this, we're going to toss this video to my colleague, Chef Matt Chatfield, who is the chef for Roth Living at our Kansas City showroom. And Matt is going to take you through the process of not only steaming, but then topping the bagels and doing the final bake in your convection steam oven. So I'm going to finish shaping these. And while I'm finishing shaping these, we're going to get ready and we're going to toss this video over to Chef Matt Chatfield in Kansas City. So Matt, why don't you go ahead and take it away for now and show us the best way to steam and bake these babies. So I want to thank my friend Ben, the chef in Denver showroom, Roth Living, for this wonderful bagel recipe. And I'll tell you what, I love to bake. And I love to bake with the Wolf Ovens. And the convection steam oven is something that's uh, really special and that we can play with so many different kinds of breads uh, using that steam feature. And so I'm going to finish Chef Ben's bagels today and I'm gonna show you how to do it without having to get that pot of water boiling on the stove with the baking soda in it and going through all that process. It's as simple as popping these bagels that have been shaped into the, the convection steam oven on the steam setting first. So without even preheating, I'm going to go into the oven and at the second spot. And we're going to set this for steam and we're going to go full steam at 210 degrees. And we're going to set a timer for six minutes. So just like that. When it, the timer first comes up, it's preset for 15 minutes. You just toggle to the right and then go down to six minutes. We will confirm our time for six minutes. And then we're going to toggle over two spaces to play. Now, I'll be back in six minutes and we're going to top those bagels. I've got some everything bagel topping, some minced garlic. We're going to do some plain bagels as well. And we'll show how simple it is to do some great fresh bagels in your own home. So now we're getting ready to pull the bagels that have been steamed out of the convection steam oven. And if you'll notice we just have a few seconds left. No steam out in the air, no heat being generated from the range top. So a really convenient way to steam off those breads or those other foods. So now we're going to pull that out and we're going to set these here. I'm going to go ahead and can zoom in for me just a minute and we're going to turn the oven off and we're going to go ahead and start preheating it for the bake mode. Okay, I guess. But we're going to go to convection now with no moisture at all. And we're just confirming that we want convection. And on our temperature, the preset's 330. We're going to bump that up to 430. And we confirm that. And then we're going to set a timer for about 15 minutes. All right. And that's going to start to heat up. And we're just going to do a quick top on these bagels. So I've got some minced garlic, I've got some everything, bagel topping that we're going to do, so we'll have a little fun. We'll do a couple of plain bagels as well. Uh, put a little egg white on these, just a little bit of water mixed with some egg white. That's going to give those bagels a beautiful glossy finish. It's also going to act as a glue for the toppings. So from there, let's do a couple of our everything bagels. Be generous with those seeds and toppings there. And then we'll do some uh, garlic top ones. So these are a little bit more savory, if you will. All right, so now 
These are ready to go back in, and that pan's already cooled off enough that I can handle it going back into the oven. All right. So at this point, we're going to move that rack up. This is going to go in the second position, and we're ready to go. Now we're going to let that oven do the work for us, and we'll come back in about 15 minutes, and we'll see how those bagels turned out. Okay. So we're back and we're going to be pulling the bagels out of the oven. They've been baking on convection, no moisture, at 430 degrees. So let's see how they came out. So those look really nice. Oh, look at those. Beautiful, shiny, crispy. So I've got to tell you, it is so nice to be able to make this nice quality bagel in your own home in just a matter of about 20 minutes. We've got a little bit of mixing and proofing involved. It's a very quick rising dough, very simple to shape. Ben showed you all of that, and I've shown you how simple it is to bake these off in that convection steam oven and virtually no mess, okay? Uh, I've, I've didn't have to get out pots and a uh, special whisk to, or special whip uh, paddle to lift the bagels out with. Simple as steaming them on the pan and then switching that out over to bake, topping those and baking them off to full perfection. So I hope you enjoyed this uh, recipe video. Uh, please join Ben and I again on Roth Living's YouTube channel and also on Roth Living Lifestyles on Instagram. Okay, thanks a lot. Take care.